Alrighty, so we have all of our figs and we have them sitting in water. We have our Italian 258 figs, which is a great fig. We have our two Smith cuttings. We have our Ronde Bordeaux cuttings. We have my personal cutting, Hardy Chicago, right here. We have our Violette de Bordeaux cuttings. And well, this is a peach tree I'm doing an experiment with. So these are all of our cuttings. Now, I tend to buy my cuttings from Figbid. Um, it's a really good fig um, growing community, and I'll put a link in the description of this video, but it's an awesome place, and it's where I purchased most of these cuttings if they were not mine. So, um, yeah, let's get into the video and show you what we're going to be doing. Alrighty guys, so the first thing you're going to do if you have your cuttings is you're going to want to make sure you wash them off. Uh, I have washed all of these. You know, these were dormant cuttings, so they've been sitting in my refrigerator for about uh, three weeks. I ordered these while I was at school. Oh, this is also a, a JH Adriatic fig. I didn't, or Adriatic JH, I forgot to show you guys, but... Um, these have all been sitting in the fridge for a um, couple weeks now, and I've just gotten home. So what I did was I took them out, I washed them all, and I labeled every single cup with what they were. This one's the Italian 58 in the glass. We got our Smith. You know, they're all labeled so we don't lose track because they look very similar. The next step I did was wanted to choose a little bit bigger cups to pot these up in. I like to start them in cups like this. They're pretty big, as you can see. They're pretty big compared to that cup. And I like them clear because I can see if there are roots growing in here or not. As you can see, this one is see-through, so I'll be able to tell if there are roots. And I also went ahead and labeled every single cup of um, the figs that we were going to be uh, propagating here. So what I'm going to be doing next is I'm going to be filling every single one of these up with some soil. Now, um, miracle Grow soil works well. You can buy from big box store. You can make your own type of soil. You can use um, you know, vermiculite mixed with perlite mixed with um, peat moss. You can do seed starting mix as long as the mix is fresh and isn't from your outside soil, which could cause rot and fungus. Um, any bag soil will work just fine. So I'm going to come fill all these up and um, cut, maybe poke one small hole, maybe not uh, in the bottom of this um, cup. So I'll come back and show you what we're doing next. Alrighty, guys. So what I have done here is I have pre-moistened this soil. I cut very small side holes on these cups and I've pre-moistened the soil um, with some really hot water in the sink to kind of kill anything in the soil um, and pre-moisten it. It's pretty much just watering it without the figs. All right, so now that we have that done, we're gonna have our fig cuttings here and we are going to start off with the Ron de Bordeaux. Now, if you guys can see these here, you got all these little nodes. That's good, that's either gonna be new growth or roots. We got a node here. So all I'm gonna do is called scarring, is I'm just gonna scratch. See a little green come out? Scratch a little greenness. A little bit of green at the bottom. And this just helps the roots grow. So I'm gonna scratch, scratch, scratch. Just a little bit, not too much. You don't wanna take off too much bark. Just gonna give it a couple scratches to help uh, it root. Then I'm gonna take my rooting hormone. You can use any rooting hormone online. I like the um, miracle Grow Fast Root. It works pretty well for me. And it's a little powder, and I'm just going to dip this all the way in. It's going to get all the powder all over it. Tap the extra off, you don't want to waste it, it's expensive. And find the Ron de Bordeaux. Now this is going to take me a step, it's right here. I'm going to make a hole, pretty decent sized hole. And I'm going to stick it about halfway down into this cup. I'm just gonna fill around it. And that's step one. Now I'm gonna do this for every fig and come right back. Alrighty guys, so as you can see, every fig is up and it's potted into a little cup like this, about halfway down, a little bit of scoring, very small amount, not too much to let any fungus in, just, just a little bit to get the hormones going. We've dipped it in our rooting hormone and we've stuck it in and we have them on here. Here's our extras. These two are our I-258s, we need a bigger, um, you know, container for it, they're thicker, and these, all these new cuttings I had just gotten, um, I just actually got these from a, uh, a field nearby my house. Now, I used to play on this field all the time, it's about 10 minute walk, so I could drive now, but we used to play football back there, build forces, uh, forts in the woods behind that field, and I just came to me that there was a fig tree back there, 
and I didn't know what a fig tree was, but it just jogged my memory doing this. I went back and took some cuttings. Um, the tree's pretty big, it's maybe 15 feet by eight feet, um, and it's being grown in zone seven, uh, fine, it's been there for the last 10 years I can remember, so I got a few cuttings. I might go back and get some more, uh, and try to check out the fruit of it next year to see what it is, maybe one of you guys know. But uh, yeah, I might go back a little later and pick some more, but that's that. So I'll put these back in here. And the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna put these on a heat mat uh, I'm not going to put them in any light, I'm going to put them in a, in a uh, storage unit in my basement with a heat mat, have the heat coming from the bottom, leaving a little bit of water in this tray to keep some moisture, and uh, leave that about a month. I should have some roots, so once I see the roots through the sides here, I will um, probably put them under some artificial light, get them growing, keep them moist, and we'll start the process for the spring. So um, I'm going to bring you guys along every step of this process. Um, thanks for watching. Alrighty guys, so here's every single fig covered and wrapped and it's sitting in this kind of like makeshift grow room I have. Uh, haven't added the other lights up here, but we have a lemon tree, some other tropicals growing back here. We're going to keep adding. Uh, I'm not done with it yet, but this is where the central heating is in my house. So it's pretty warm in here. I also have a heating mat under both of these running across. And um, I just added this little plastic wrap. You don't need to, but because it does get so bone dry in here. Um, I wanted to make sure there's a little, at least a little bit of moisture so the tops don't just dry out. And this will kind of act as like a little greenhouse. It will catch some of that humidity um, and not let the figs dry out as fast. I know it's, does not, it's not perfect, but I'm just trying to increase the, the humidity slightly, not too much. I'm going to do the same thing for here. Uh, these are my bigger figs. Um, this is the unknown one again, found in the field. My two Italian 58s. We have two Violet de Bordeaux, two Ron de Bordeaux, one Chicago Hardy, two Smith. Um, and one, uh, I think two maybe, uh, Adriatic JHs, and again, two of those, um, let's put in the same one, two of the uh, unknown ones. Um, and then we still have a couple more fig uh, cuttings. We have a one more Ronde Bordeaux, one more Violette de Bordeaux. Um, so if these fail, we have those to fall back on. Um, we have one more Chicago Hardy, and I believe we have one more Adriatic JH. We use both of our Smiths and both of our I-258s. Um, but yeah, this is what I'm going to do guys in about a month. I should see roots growing then I will um, in About a month after that I should see um, Sprouting and by then which is January which is February March. It'll be March and we'll have one more month until these things can go outside so um, yeah guys, this is how you're gonna start and uh, Root and clone your fig trees any questions. Please leave them down in the comments. Thanks and subscribe <laughs>